Good morning, all my fellow confident, friendly, and reasonable MAGA supporters. I'm recording this on 21 January, Uncle Joe's first full day in office. Now, you might have seen how Uncle Joe vetted U.S. soldiers. He wouldn't allow U.S. soldiers who had a different political opinion from him from protecting him. I think he's wrong about this because, well, I was in the U.S. military for 22 years and during that time, more often than not, there were presidents in office that I disagreed with. Sometimes I disagreed with them on almost everything, but there wasn't a single president while I was in uniform that I wouldn't have died trying to protect. This is the mindset, I believe, of just about everybody that serves in the U.S. military. So even though these soldiers had a different mindset than Uncle Joe, I'm pretty sure that for every soldier that he wouldn't allow to protect him during this inauguration ceremony, well, they would have died for him too, given the chance. They would have given their lives for a man that they fundamentally disagreed with his politics on. Why? Because right now he represents the United States more than any other single individual. He is the living embodiment right now of the U.S. flag and the Constitution. We can disagree with him politically all we want to, but you know what? I'm willing to bet all those soldiers would have laid down their lives to protect him. So we're not going to talk about that asshole right now. I'm going to talk about, well, Rumble. <laughs> this is a YouTube alternative site that I just became a member of. As you can see right now, I don't even have a single Rumble. I was looking through the trending on Rumble and I came across this video from the Bongino Report. And I liked it so much I had to view it over and over again. Right now this video is three days old and it has 442,100 views. Why? Well, just look at the title of it. First Lady Melania Trump sends farewell message. Now, in this farewell message of hers, she thanked soldiers and police. She mentioned children and mothers and medical staff, workers, truck drivers, students, teachers, families, you know, everybody. She showed empathy and sympathy in her farewell address. Hers was a voice of hope and love and strength. You really got to see Melania Trump for who she is. A loving, caring mother. Maybe the greatest first lady that ever lived. You can see why President Trump kept this woman. She's what, like you and I like to call, a keeper. It's a shame that the legacy media wouldn't allow us to hear her voice more often. She is a counterfoil for President Trump, just like my wife is a counterfoil for me. I'm a little bit of an asshole. My wife is my better half. Just like President Trump is an asshole and his wife is his better half. We both married foreign wives. We both married well. I'm luckier than him though is because my first wife was my trophy wife. We've been married for a lot longer than President Trump has been married to Melania. So if you're feeling sorry for President Trump that he was robbed from the election, don't, because, well, look at the wife he has. I'm not talking about her beautiful face. I'm talking about her beautiful spirit.